Kong Si Fa Chai. It feels like we have been apart for a very long time. And in that time, we have been putting together some things, some plans, and there have been some major changes. And I'd like to take this time to update you guys on what you can expect from us in 2023. But before that, let's hear some words from our Hall of Famers and what they have to say. Hey everyone, this is Alvin, the Smooth Operator for Supernatural Confessions. It's been a great year for everyone, the team, and of course for our wonderful fans and friends who have given us their wonderful support for the year of 2022. We would like to wish everyone a happy Lunar New Year to our family, loved ones, friends, and of course all the wonderful fans in the Supernatural Confessions group. Do look forward to us to bring you more content and exciting content for the community which will give you the best ghost stories in Asia. So the eternal question, where in the world is Sonia? Looking around me, you can tell that I'm uh, in a bathroom, a plain bathroom to be specific. I didn't want to disturb the rest of the passengers um, in, my, in my room. Firstly, I want to wish all our SC family a great 2023 exciting times, what's to come. Uh, what have I been up to? I've been traveling a lot and I hope to bring you some stories about the local law, where I am. Where I'm headed to next is North India. I'm going to be getting my mountaineering uh, chops up in Spiti, the, the mountain ranges there. So let's see if I might come across some something interesting Yeti, perhaps they call it something else here. Once again, exciting times ahead. See you guys soon. Hi, all, this is your Apex Predator speaking. Um, I'm currently in Singapore and just wanted to wish all the SC family and friends a uh, happy Chinese New Year. Look, I'm not sure what this year is going to bring in terms of involvement and, and, and projects, but you know, the community is what makes um, SC such an important part of my life. So, to all you guys out there who are, you know, um, Celebrating Chinese New Year. Happy Chinese New Year from me and my family. Hello everyone from SC. I want to wish everyone a happy Chinese New Year to you all. Hi guys, Bill from On The Fringe here. Wishing everyone a happy Chinese New Year and you're the rabbit. Got a few things to talk about. Number one, On The Fringe is 100% having another season. We've lined up a bunch of awesome cryptids and semi-supernatural beings to talk about as well as the return of the community choice so every fourth episode that we are doing uh, is going to be a community vote number two uh, merch and swag so uh, we have taken a look at a bunch of concept art as well as different options for shirts hats uh, stickers uh, vinyl stickers for laptops and cars as well as um, maybe keychains. We're still up in the air about that, but I cannot wait to share that with you guys and for you guys to come represent the SC community out in public. Have a safe and wonderful Chinese New Year and we will see you later on this year. Hi everybody, it's Matt from On The Fringe and just want to wish everybody a happy and prosperous Lunar New Year. And for my Cantonese speakers out there, now, Bill and I have been away for a few months, and that's mainly because we've been planning on what to do this coming year and what to give you guys. So, all I can really say is that we have many things planned, many exciting things planned. Um, I can't really tell you too much right now, but all I can say is you got to keep your Junes and your Julys free. So, Bill and I will be back real soon with another season of On the Fringe. But until then, get out your tinfoil hats, your hiking boots, because we're going on the fringes. Until then. I see you people. Hi, Jonathan here from Ghost Mortem. Well, not actually Ghost Mortem because Ghost Mortem is going on a break. That's right. We are going to take an indefinite hiatus. Why? Because frankly, we are running out of awesome short films to review. So while we wait for filmmakers all over the world to make awesome new horror short films for us to review, we are going to take a long holiday. But we're not going to be entirely gone because 
we hope that the vibe will carry on. Um, we've had a wonderful two plus year run, five seasons, wow. And I think the community is amazing. So we want to keep that vibe living strong. So we're going to carry on the outings and maybe do an occasional Ghost Mortem Go movie special review. Meanwhile, what's going to happen to me? Oh no, actually I'm going to be moving to Friday night. Haha, <laughs> that's right. I'm going to be the new co-host together with Eugene of Friday Night Live. It's going to be crazy. Uh, it's going to be very exciting as well because we have a special guest host every week. Sometimes the guest host will be someone you know, a blast from the past. Sometimes it'll be someone new. Sometimes it'll be a specialist or an expert. So why the big change? Well, the live live show actually changed a lot of things. Uh, it was uh, really eye-opening for all of us here at SC, uh, as well as you, I hope. Uh, and one of the things that I realized personally is that the discussion of confessions, the analysis, the debate, the, the, the lessons that you can learn from them is utterly con compelling, you know, and, and I want to do more of that. So, we'll see you all in February. Until then, have a great year of the rabbit. 祝大家新年快乐,恭喜发财,万事如意,大吉大利,年年有余,心想事成. Bye! I'm so grateful to the hosts, moderators, volunteers, those who have donated to us by buying us coffee or supported us by buying my book, t-shirts and definitely the regulars who have been chatting from YouTube to Discord to WhatsApp and keeping this community alive. It's hard to put a date on when Supernatural Confessions really started. According to Facebook, it was 2015 and then I was just doing it solo and Team O came to join me and then ET joined us as well and then that's how we came to the era of the Baba Bros and then the dream team came after the Baba Bros comprising of Kim, Sonia and Joe each host brought with them their personality to the show and the community have grown to love them what I want to do this year is take the best of everything that we have done go back to roots and once again put the spotlight back on the confessions with a revolving door of old hosts, new hosts, guests, experts making an appearance. While this is going to give us a fresh perspective and dynamics to the show, keeping John and I on our toes. From mysticism to supernatural to logic and super rational, science and psychology, I believe the community have grown with us and are now ready for more in-depth discussion for each confession. I am blessed to have a strong creative team to support me into the next stage of Supernatural Confessions growth. Which brings me to a very important next point. Supernatural Confessions structure is about to change drastically. Supernatural Confessions is registered as a non-profit organization with a framework of governance. So what does this all mean? It means we are serious about our brand, we are serious about rewarding past and present volunteers who have toiled to make Supernatural Confessions what it is today. We are serious about creating products that makes profit or which you can put the profit back to the treasury and continue to fund great ideas that will benefit you. One thing for certain is that slowly but surely I will have to release the reign of control over to the Supernatural Confessions executive community. I have done all I can building up from 2015 to where we are today on love and devotion. But moving forward, it cannot just be the effort of one man running this as a hobby group because sooner or later, that's all going to fade out of existence. Supernatural confessions must carry on even after I'm gone. But this process is going to take years and you have not seen the last of me yet. But I felt that this is a turning point for Supernatural Confessions to decide if it's going to take this path to continue growing or remain where it is and eventually fade away. Thank you so much for your support. I couldn't have done it without you guys. And someone asked me how does it feel to have built Supernatural Confessions to where it is today. And the answer is humbling. Very, very humbling. I did not expect this kind of support or growth when I first started this entire movement it was just with the intention to destigmatize people's supernatural ex encounters and experiences because those who encounter it we know there's something more out there 
and there's nowhere to talk about that and that's what Supernatural Confessions is for. We have obviously grown way past that into a YouTube channel, into having products, into having volunteers. So it's, it's come a long way and it's very, very humble. Or well, if you bump into me on the streets, come on up and say hi. I'll love to shake your hands. Maybe even take a selfie together. And I'll see you guys real soon. In the meantime, Kong Si Fa Chai. Enjoy your Chinese New Year. And I'll see you guys back in February. Bye bye. I really want you to do that. Is there anyone here? What did you find? You are listening to Supernatural Confessions.